All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the way around uh, the new SeaDo cluster uh, with the handlebar controls and the digital readout and the audio system. Uh, show you how all this works. So we'll start with the audio. There's your um, control there. So to get into pairing mode, you're just gonna hold the play pause button until it starts flashing and it'll be in pairing mode. Just gotta go into your Bluetooth on your cell phone and make it viewable and it'll be called BRP remote to get linked up. And then you can tuck your phone away and just run your audio from uh, the control there. For um, handlebar controls, on the left control you have a mode button which is just your throttle modes um, VTS which is going to be your variable trim up and down your slow mode and cruise control is the right button then on the right side um, it's just a basically a control to run all those features um, for the most part so we'll start with um, I'm in slow mode right now, so I'll show you how to get into slow mode. You need to be in idle forward, and you're just gonna hold the cruise button. It says slow mode, you got a six flashing in the top right. Now you use the arrow up on your right side here, and you can go from nine, which would be the fastest, down to one, which would be darn near neutral. So that's slow mode for long canals, um, for long idle situations, you can adjust your, your idle speed there. Now, once you get up around 15 miles an hour, then uh, you can hold this button to engage cruise. And the same thing's gonna, gonna happen, um, except for the speed is gonna come up on this right side here with whatever speed you locked in and then you can use the up and down button to adjust your cruise speed on the display there. Um, variable trim. The bar graph is right on the right side there for variable trim. And what I found today is uh, with a full load, uh, we have two people and a dog on board cruising around 15 miles an hour. Um, it doesn't quite plane out. So I used the variable trim and I actually trimmed it down to help level the boat out versus trimming up like most people do to make the boat more playful or drier. Um, I trimmed it down to level it out at slow cruising speeds. Um, but all you need, need to do is just press it up. There's like a, um, about 11 settings up or down and it changes it on the bar graph there. You see you also have a clock bottom right uh, your speed readout and then under the speed readout if you use uh, this left and right button on your right handlebar it goes through your settings you got water temp 73 degrees you got rpm you can show uh, there's a settings where you can uh, drill down a little farther um, depth which is what I've been using in the shallow stuff uh, which I like leaving it at depth those are just by using the right switch to get into those basic uh, displays um, over here you have miles till empty you have 55 miles or 53 miles till empty and then there's your fuel readout on the left that bar graph along with your hour meter bottom left um, I think that basically covers everything. Your start stop button is here, the red button, and you can also pull the key. Um, that pretty much sums it up. We did, um, we ran in eco mode most of the day yesterday, and you can see how much fuel I have over a half a tank, close to a three quarter of a tank. We did about, we had the Garmin watch going, we did 44 miles average speed I think was around 8 or 10 miles an hour and barely burnt any fuel at all um, so yeah when you're not in sport mode you can get some pretty good MPGs to get it into sport mode or eco mode you just use the mode button here and you can see on the readout 
it talks to you there, sport mode. It'll give you directions to press it again. So now we're in sport mode. And now we're in eco mode by pressing it again. Eco mode off, we'll put it into standard mode or touring mode, which, is, which it always starts in, in that mode. So that should get you going on the uh, new sea with the new display. Thanks for watching. For more informative videos on uh, power sports, how to's, and uh, walk arounds, subscribe to our uh, channel here, like the video, and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.